Hey, Arno Cheese Summer here. Do you want to know how you can rank your Google My Business listings in the map pack, no matter what your keywords are? I'll show you the easiest yet most effective strategy for ranking your GMBs consistently in the map pack. You're gonna love this. <laughs> Firstly, I'm going to reveal why posting to your GMBs is so important. Secondly, I'll show you how I do it. If you're tired of seeing results like this, then you definitely need improvement. As you can see here in this screenshot, we are not ranked anywhere for this GMB listing in a 3 to 5 mile radius, except for the exact location. And if you're hungry to improve to something like this, where your GMB is ranking, in the top three everywhere, then you should start posting content to your GMB listing immediately. Posting to your listings is an easy way to make sure that your GMB is active. Google loves active listings and rewards businesses who are engaging their audiences through posts by giving them more exposure and by boosting rankings for all kinds of relevant keywords. Let's talk about how I post to my listings. I am using a more automated solution called GMB Auto Poster and I'm doing this simply because I have a lot of listings to manage and if I would do this manually it would be very difficult for me to keep up. Plus I'm saving a lot of time and it's just a much more effective way for doing it. The GMB Poster will automate the content and video creation process to use on your GMB posts if you so choose. You will be able to schedule posting times from multiple GMB listings with ease once you have the content and images or videos loaded to the file it's ready to use. The bot is coded to ensure maximum SEO efforts by siloing your posts and it even automates citations and backlinks from one of the most powerful sources online, YouTube. The bot is customizable so you don't have to use the content or videos the bot creates if you would rather create your own manually. So as you can see here um, in the PAA scraper tab, which means the people also ask scraper tab, we have an option to scrape content and for locality we have United Kingdom, we have .com, we have Canada and we have Australia. And since I'm doing this for my marketing agency, I scrape content from google.co.uk and here you can see I put in the keyword and since this is for my marketing agency, I put the keyword marketing agency. But you can also put something like marketing, advertising, it really depends on your industry. And here you put in the call to action which will be added at the end of the post and here you can see that I made it say give us a call for a risk-free consultation today and I listed my phone number in the exact same format that it appears when I do a search on Google for my business. It's very important and as you can see here we have a total of, of 10 posts as selected and if we open this up we can see the content, we can see the call to action has been added and this is a very effective way of doing it because you don't have to outsource the content, you don't have to copy paste it manually, this is all done by the tool and it's just a very efficient way of doing it and let's say you wanted to scrape more content for the next weeks then you could choose 30 here. So this is the PA scraper tab and how to get content and now I want to show you how to create videos with this tool. We have reached the second step which is to use the content that we created in step 1 and turn it into videos. As you can see here in the video creator tab um, we're going to be using Content Samurai for this so I put in my username and password and now what we need to do is we're going to grab the folder where we saved the post that we previously scraped for and this is going to be under people also ask content marketing agency and we're going to click OK. So as you can see this folder has been selected in the Chrome download folder it's always under desktop administrator 
downloads. Select this and we're good to go. So now when I hit run, the bot is going to log into our Content Samurai account. It's going to use one piece of content at a time, turn it into a video and save the video in the folder. And it will do this for 10 posts. So we have a total of 10 videos. If we had 30, it will do it for 30. So naturally this process is going to take some time. I'm going to hit run now and I'm going to be back once we're finished with this step. Welcome to the last step, which is to finally begin posting content and uploading videos so that we can really rank our listings. So you can see here, I'm in the accounts manager tab and I entered my Gmail account email, the password, the GMB title, the NAP, which is name, address, phone number information, and the keywords, I've added them, then I have the GMB links, which is are the Google Maps shorty link and the Google search link. And here I loaded all the files that we have, so the content, the actual posts, then the videos, and then the learn more link. Um, that's going to be our post, so it will be saved here. And if I open this up, you can see here's all the information. So I prepared the information in a notepad file and I copy pasted it in here. And the last step is actually that we go here and now we're going to choose this file, the load accounts file, where all this information is stored. And we're going to upload this information now. And we're good. So now we hit run and it should start posting. And one thing that we have here also is a scheduler. So if we want, we can say that we are in September. And now we could say, you know, we're going to start this today or tomorrow. Just say tomorrow at whatever, like 10 a.m. continually. So now we say event run poster and starting tomorrow, September 14th, 10 a.m. Frequency would be repeat, yeah? Frequency once every day. And we hit OK. And I will run until there are no more um, posts left in the folder, so we have a total of 10 which means that it will run until the 23rd and here we go. So now we hit run and it will do its magic and I will be checking back here once the post has been published. So guys, here we have the post that was created for our tool. And as you can see here, there is a video added to the top of the post. Then we have the content and we have the NAP information, name, address, and phone number. Now going to YouTube, we created a YouTube channel and we have again in the description name, address, phone number and then we have links also called citations pointing back to our listing and this is the Google Map Shorty link, Google search link that we found for our listing and here we have again the content and we also have the keywords. We go up here, we'll be able to see that this is a very short video because we didn't have much content and this was created with Content Samurai. And this concludes the video on pretty much how to rank your listing. So what you want to do is you want to keep doing this every single day or a minimum of three to four times a week. It does not take a lot of time. If you're doing this manually, then you obviously have to create content or filter content or have someone write content ever you should choose and you also have to create videos aka citations but you're really making sure that you're able to rank your listing by applying this effective strategy i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did i would love to have you as a subscriber on my channel so please hit that red subscribe button right underneath the channel now to be notified when i should publish a new video on the latest cutting edge internet marketing strategies other than that i wish you a great day and i see you in the next video